everybody, I would like to give a round of warm of applause to Paul Crespo. Paul Crespo, please come up. Thank you. I'm also out of order because uh, I have to leave at 10 uh, for a meeting at 10 30, so thank you for letting me slip in at a different uh, slot. Uh, my name is Paul Crespo. I'm running for the United States Congress, uh, District 25. For those of you who don't know, that's the district that Mario Diaz Villar, our congressman now, is going to be leaving because he's moving over to his brother's district, uh, 21, to replace uh, Lincoln Diaz Villar, who's retiring. So, uh, District 25, and I'm here as a conservative Republican. Uh, I've always been a conservative, I've always been a Republican. Uh, uh, I've said most of my life served my country and served my community, but I've never been a politician. This is my first time working for office. Uh, some people say it was a big step. Uh, maybe it is, but I think this year, more than any other year, we need new leadership, fresh leadership. If you look at Little Washington, and really fight for us. Uh, I think special interest, not a little obvious. I know it's a cliche, but there are big differences between someone who's fresh and new and out there to fight for us and someone who's uh, perhaps representing other interests and other uh, lobbyists and other organizations. Um, I spent most of my life in, in, in military. I spent 12 years, a big chunk of my life in the military. I was an officer in the United States Marine Corps. I swore to uphold the federal constitution of the United States. And then I became an officer after college. And I've been doing it ever since. The constitution to me is the most important part of our political system. It sets our country uh, uh, different from every other country. It's a contract between the American people and our elected leaders. And we have to defend it, support it, and make sure that it's not uh, uh, corrupted, as I've seen over the last couple of years. Uh, the process is gradually diminished the value of our Constitution, the role that it plays in our country. Uh, like I said, I'm a Reagan conservative. In addition to spending 12 years in Austin and Reagan Corps, serving overseas in numerous different countries, and uh, as a military diplomat, as an artillery officer of intelligence, uh, Bosnia, and Croatia, and the Middle East. My last place was Venezuela, I was in the U.S. Embassy in Venezuela, Caracas, just before Chavez came to power. And it was always interesting to see what's been happening in Venezuela. As Chavez returned to that country more and more to the communist state, I always thought that, you know, I would go to Latin America speak and tell people, a uh, warn them what was happening in Venezuela, and say, luckily the United States got a constitution that would keep that from happening here. Until, until about two years ago, I believed that. Uh, then I started watching what's been happening in Washington the last couple of years, and realized, no, it can't happen here. Depending on, on who's in charge and what's been happening in Washington, things go dramatically wrong. And I've been watching things going dramatically wrong for the last two years. That's why I decided this year that I was going to run for office and uh, step up and actually put myself in a position where I can make some changes. People say to me, well, you're not a career politician, but you can get elected like everybody else will become a career politician. I've already made a point that I'm not going to do that. I pledge myself to term limit myself to eight years. I have no intention of becoming a career politician, so I've already made a public pledge that I'm going to serve eight years in Congress. I think that's more than enough time to take care of business and do what really needs to be done. If George Washington could be the first president of the United States and serve eight years, I think that that's all we can do. So I, I, pledge, I pledge to do that. In order to make sure that I don't get enticed to stay longer, even after my pledge, uh, I also said that I'm not going to accept the congressional pension plan. It's a very lucrative plan for retirement for most congressmen. And it's actually one of the reasons congressmen, I think, stay so long, because they know the longer they stay, the more money they're going to get in retirement from this uh, very lucrative pension plan. So I'm going to be one of the few people who's denying or declining to accept the pension plan. I propose a flat tax, a 12% flat tax. I really do think we need to have dramatic tax reform in this country. Uh, as my uh, this thing that says on the uh, web, on the uh, Screen here. I'm 100% pro life, always have been. I'm pro Second Amendment. I'm celebrating conservative across the board. I would love to have your support. I would love to have your vote. As I said, I think we need fresh new leadership in Washington. I think I'm the person to give it to you. PaulCrespo2010.com is my website. I would love to stay and answer questions. That's actually what I do best. If anyone wants to email me, you can email me on my website and I'll respond. Thank you very much. Everybody is doing an excellent job of squeezing things in. We are so sorry that there's such a short time for each of you.